Hey guys, Doom Masters here. I haven't made a video in a while, but I decided to make a video of how my XR250R looks now. And you might not even recognize it, but that's the same bike. Uh, so today I'm gonna wash it, because I went riding last week and it was very muddy, so it's all covered in mud. But since the last video I made, I converted this bike to a disc brake uh, and you can st still see it's an 86 model <clears throat> it's not a what is it 95 or 90 model because you can see 1986 I'm not bullshitting you that I just threw on plastic from 86 model on a 95 frame but I actually uh, actually welded this little tab for the master cylinder for the disc brake and this is uh, this is uh, rear swing arm and rear wheel from uh, 1990 Honda XR 250R. Uh, I came on a deal for 60 bucks. Some dude was selling that chassis. It was missing a motor. It was missing pretty much everything here. It had a front rear wheel, front end, and a you know swing arm. And I the frame was broken here and then rewelded so instead of me trying to transfer all the parts to that 1990 frame i just cut out this little bracket right here and i welded it and i painted it over and i did this with my crappy harbor freight mig welder and it, it actually came out really good and it's really sturdy it's not going anywhere uh and you know in the in the later bikes they have like a little metal bracket here too but it was really pain in the ass to cut out and I don't really see what the purpose of it so I just put this on this is also an aftermarket uh, master cylinder because the one on the on the on the donor frame was all rusted in and it was not moving and it was cheaper to get this instead of trying to rebuild the original uh, and that's the 1990 caliper uh, and I, also this is uh, a 1990 uh, front end from 1990 bike because uh, the 86 uh, suspension is a little bit different and and I heard that the 1990 to 2004 I think that's when they started making them the suspension is suspension is way better although I filled it with the ATF fluid and it's really really sturdy last time I was riding my wrists were killing me I need to uh, put different weight oil in there so yeah uh, and what I did to make my bike running, I actually had to take off the top end and I put a Wiseco piston in there. Uh, yeah, let me do a walk around. I got a skid plate on it. This is a, a caliper from the 1990 model. I had to completely rebuild it, change all the seals, and I had to rebuild uh, the master cylinder. All new parts. I have these really cool moose racing bars that are blue. They go really good with the bike. Uh, this chin thingy. Put this little bag for little tools and whatever I need. You guys remember the the muffler that was missing the baffle and I had to buy like a cheap eBay baffle and put it in there. This is the rear wheel from the 1990 donor bike. It actually came with a brand new tire, which is, was a big plus. Like the bike was completely trashed. By the way, I had to I had to buy another swing arm because the swing arm from the donor bike, all the, the bearings were just rusty. And I didn't have like a needle bearing pulling tool. And if I would have gotten a bearing kit and, and a tool, it would have been more expensive than just buying a used swing arm. So I bought a used swing bar arm from eBay for like 40 bucks with good bearings. Uh, the only downside of that, I didn't see on the picture, but this tab right here for a bolt with this chain guide or chain slide uh, was broken. So it's only held by these two bolts. But as long as I don't drop the bike and don't trash it around, it should be good. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get to washing it. Let me do one more walk around so you can see this baby. Very happy with it. The 
thing is it looks awesome. Uh, in the future, I want to do a video of, and have a complete list of all the things that I've done. I'm about $1,200 into it, uh, but I literally went over everything. Like the only thing I didn't touch is the rear shock, uh, which is fine. Uh, I didn't touch the front wheel bearings. Uh, I didn't touch like the bottom end of the engine. It was, you know, it's just fine. It works fine. Uh, but everything else I pretty much overhauled and replaced. And I think I did pretty good with, with my money. Uh, I think this thing will last me for a long time. All right, let's get to washing it. All this mud in here. Very muddy in Oregon in the winter time. I'm not going to do like a crazy complete wash, but I'm going to put soap on it, but I just wanted to rinse it. So it doesn't look as crazy. Bah, almost fell on the rock. In case you guys are curious uh, about the skid plate, I got it from eBay and it's called Ricochet. I think they also make uh, skid plates for motorcycles. I mean, cars and trucks and all that. I also fell once. Oh yeah, looking much better. Not 100 percent clean, but looking better. Sorry for uh, poor video quality. I'm trying to hold the camera while I'm trying to hose it off. But yeah. I got these uh, CNC little aluminum uh, hold downs for the, the rear brake hose uh, because the, the ones I had they were broken they're usually plastic I think when they come from factory in the bike they were, they were like 11 bucks but I think it makes the bike look much better. <laughs> 